morning. Uh, well, no, it's good afternoon now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, we're back at the plot. It was raining all day yesterday. Have sea pouring. Today, sunshine. Ta da! <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've come back. Um, we've been thinking about the, um, the membrane and the fact that the grass was going brown underneath. Um, I've been looking at a lot of videos on No Dig um, with that amazing uh, Mr. Dowding explaining about it all. And we've decided that maybe we should re definitely go for a No Dig option, at least for half of the of the um of where we want to put the beds so to start it we're going to start um from um one section of the where the membrane is take the membrane off put lots of cardboard put lots of manure so you're on manure duty <laughs> and um right. then put back the membrane we get and so by the time we get to work on the beds it might have started to um you know to die down all the weeds and we can maybe start beds, won't we? Mm. So um, we're going to, we've brought loads of cardboard in the wheelbarrow and we're going to start this section. We're going to start with this and then we're going to carry on tackle the weed and the ground behind us. So hopefully, maybe we can do this, at least a shed, well, a greenhouse next week. Mm -hmm. That's what we're hoping. So, um, yes, we better get going because we've got a lot to do. <laughs> so this is all the cardboards in the wheelbarrow. And we're going to start with that section next to the um, compost bin. It's very uneven. It is very uneven. I if we should break it up a bit. I think we need to break it up, yes. I think we need to, unfortunately. Yeah, so it means a little bit, of, yeah, there. little bit of digging, just to get rid of some of the big clumps and the big bramble. Yep. Maybe taking that off and look. <laughs> oh boy. Dogweed. Dogweed. Right. So we were trying to do no dig here, um, but the soil is so uneven. We got big clumps that was over there and big holes that's more like here. So we are taking out some of the very big clumps to try to even out the, the soil because putting cardboard and then compost on top of a soil that's completely uneven, I don't, we just can't work out how that's gonna work. So I haven't seen anything on that. How do you even out the soil with no dig? Um, to have an even soil uh, so anyway we just unfortunately for that bed it was so uneven we are having to dig some of it out we're not going through every weed like we do in the other patch but we are trying to even out the soil then we'll put the cardboard then we'll put the uh, manure then we'll put the membrane uh, but it's yes so the no dig for now, um, big fail, I'm afraid, but um, it's only because the soil is so uneven. So yes, don't really know what to do about it. And here you are, back <laughs> with your nemesis. <laughs> do you win? <laughs> One less to tackle later on. Hey, I didn't see your victory face. <laughs> this is looking a lot flatter now. Um, we we did generally, there's parts we didn't dig over, but most of it we've dug over, but we haven't removed weeds to a large extent, but it's looking a lot flatter. And I think, uh, I think we can, we can work with that now. Um, so next we'll put the, cardboard. put the cardboard on.
did you just drop it? Right, off to the manure we go. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Better than what it was before. Yes. And then we'll cover it with membrane. And then later on when we're ready to do the bed, we'll put more cardboard and soil. Excellent. Then, see if it works. Hopefully, hopefully, he will. I've never done this before, so <laughs> we never have, have we? Nope. We have no idea, but we're trying to adapt all sorts of different ideas. Let's get going with uh, trying to even out this one. In case you're wondering, I'm picking up stones, the biggest one, keeping them. I can't keep buying stones for the garden all the drainage in pots and to put on top of pots to stop the squirrels digging all my flowers out so I'm always buying stone this plot is so full of stone I'm collecting them in the old bags of the stones I bought in the past I'm planning to wash them and use them to put at bottom of pots top of pots I may as well make good use of it because it's covered and I think I'm going to be spending years taking those out. But this bit is less bad, isn't it? It's more even, this. This bit is, yes. It's a lot more even. You don't have to dig so much. So just trying to flatten it, flatten it out. Let's put the cardboard. That means more trip to the mule. <laughs> Sorry, Grish. <laughs> well, that's okay, Nanu. You can tell people have an allotment is cheaper than a gym membership and you get fresh air and it makes you happy doesn't it very happy <laughs> what would we do with our amazon's boxes <laughs> when you have people complaining about big boxes since we've had the allotment, we're thrilled when they're big, don't we? <laughs> we say, yay, it's a big box. <laughs> Once again, sun is going low, and this is Wilbarrow. Is it number 11? <laughs> well. Oh, number 12. My goodness. When you think how uneven it was here, yeah. look at it now. A lot better. Now, I suppose most of you are going to think. This is a fair like no dig, because we did dig, but we have got a more even surface. So there might be a better way to do it. We don't know it, 
so we try to uh, adapt it to our conditions um, and we'll just have to see but let's cover it with the membrane now green done <laughs> for that section anyway we're done <laughs> right let's do a bit more weeding into our section where the greenhouse and the shed are going to be in right we are back at we're going to try to finish that little square there today before the sun goes down the minute the sun goes to that level it gets cold and windy so uh Grinch has started he's gonna carry on this bit I'm gonna pick up all the biggest bit of weed I'm also gonna turn over that little bit over there that Fluffy's done because we've got a little bit of grass starting to grow everywhere <laughs> how are you doing Shattered. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. And Grinch has also managed to finish that little square. So all that area now has been turned over or prepared. Um, so hopefully there's going to be area for shed and uh, and and the greenhouse. Hey. Hi there. Right. You're shattered, aren't you? <laughs> Need a cup of tea. I need, and I need something some to eat I need <laughs> some food <laughs> I know <laughs> don't worry I've got something we can eat <laughs> the sun's going down as you can see Paul Grinch has managed was it four or five here five more wheelbarrows here uh, and as you know under the membrane there he's managed 12 so he's done very well 12 wheelbarrows full of manure so this is covered so we're going to let the worms do their thing underneath there and we've decided to put some manure here sort of the area of the greenhouse um, to unreach the soil to stop small grasses coming back to mulch it basically um, and then later on once the greenhouse is built I'll put some cardboard and then some um, um, some soil uh, to start planting. Mm -hmm. 